A very exciting day here at BOTB HQ. Back in April, Kevin Woods won himself a brand new Rolex Sea Dweller watch. Now, usually the wait time on a Rolex is about a year, but we've managed to get it a lot sooner than that. So, Kevin is on the way in to collect his brand new Rolex. So here we are, Kevin Woods, welcome to BOTB HQ. It's been, what, a few months now. You um, won the lifestyle competition back in April. Yeah. And of course, with these Rolexes, they're pretty hard to come by. And you were like, no, I'm adamant. I want the watch rather than the cash alternative. And that's what you've held out for. Yeah. And thankfully, obviously, we have some very good contacts in the watch world. We have got you the watch here today. Just before I show you it, though, right. what was it like looking at your phone going, why does this weirdo keep ringing me? What is going on? Like, what were your thoughts going well, through I was, the, the I watch? I didn't know what was going on. I just kept rejecting. I thought, who's this keep ringing me? And I just kept rejecting it. And, so, and then you actually you called me on, uh, on, on, on my normal phone, you know, on the normal, uh, normal call. And then, and, uh, thank goodness you yeah. picked up. I explained what was going on, and then you thought, okay, this is probably a phone call I'd like to pick up. So yeah. then we phoned you on video, and you were at work at the time, weren't I you? I was, yeah, I was at work, yeah. When I phoned you, I said, oh, have you got a watch on? And you went, yeah, yeah, I have. And I said, what was it? And you said, oh, it's, a, it's an old Swatch. <laughs> Do, have you still got it? Have you thrown uh, it away? I got rid of that bit of rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> Well, with that in mind, let me bring out this, which is by far an absolute gorgeous watch. Now, I'm yet to open this, so I feel like I shouldn't open it because it is your brand new watch. So over to you, Kevin. Do the honours. Now, I've been looking at these watches online for a very long time because they are very special. Um, they look incredible. And you'll see in a second, they are absolutely fantastic. So it comes in the Rolex box, which only, you know, very privileged people get to see. Are you ready? Oh, wow. There it is. Yeah, brilliant. It is unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. So the retail on this watch, as you know, when you want it, is around about £8,000. Now, we just had a conversation off camera and we've already discussed the fact that this watch has already gone up in value about £3,000. Right. So the eight grand watch you want is actually now worth 11 grand. 11 grand, I oh, know. Brilliant. Oh, I'm over the moon. It's great. Now, I don't know if you do any diving, but if you did, it goes <laughs> pretty deep. <laughs> What's quite cool about this watch is when they designed it, uh, one, of the, um, one of the earlier watches that they did, they took it down really deep. And what would happen is because of the pressure, uh, would basically crush the dial mm. and, and they couldn't release the pressure. So there's a very cool, basically it's, um, it's a release valve on yeah. the side of the watch. So when the pressure gets too much inside the watch, you can basically leak out the pressure. Now, mm. if you're not doing too much diving, you, you probably, that won't come into action, but it's nice to know it's there. Mm. And if you ever did drop it very deep and somebody went to go and retrieve it for I you. Don't, I don't think I'll be going in the sea with it. <laughs> So what are you going to use this watch for? Is it going to be like a nice dress watch yeah, for nice occasions? Are you going to wear so, it day yeah. to day? Or? Yeah, I wouldn't wear it day to day. Man. This is going to be for, yeah. for nice special yeah. occasions. Yeah. Well, the history behind this watch, as you know, is, is unbelievable. They've only just added the um, magnifier on the date, which, uh, which is a new thing. And they've only been able to do it recently because of the fact that the manufacturing process has come on so far that they didn't used to be able to... Uh, engineer the um, the magnifier into the older watches because they couldn't get the glass correct on the front but now uh, in modern technologies we got the uh, got the ability to do it so they've been able to add that but it's an amazing watch and it, it's something that I, I don't usually get jealous but I'm very jealous today also as well um, with the clasp it's got a really cool feature which uh, which is quite nice and, and Rolex has done a very good job with it it basically allows you to uh, adjust it so when you're out and about, if you're, um, say, for instance, uh, out in a hot country or um, you're out somewhere where your wrist expands, you can basically adjust the strap. Mm -hmm. So you can have it just a little bit tighter or a little bit looser without having to take out a whole link, link yeah. which, is, uh, which is a really nice little feature of the Rolex. But uh, yeah, <laughs> unbelievable watch. I think you should try it on. Yeah, I should. Now you haven't got your swatch on. No. <laughs> It looks really good in your wrist, actually. They're quite large watches, but um, you can definitely pull that off for sure. It's got a nice little weight to it as well. So when you're walking around, you can always just feel it there. <laughs> and you know that you, you know, there's that watch that you won that you paid, what, less than a quid for? Yeah, I did. I paid a few quid for it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think your whole total ticket value was uh, not that much. So for the price of a pint, you've just got yourself an £8,000 watch that is now worth £11,000. Yeah. <laughs> not bad. It is not bad. Congratulations. Thanks very much. Well done. Well done.